welcome back to my channel and welcome to part three of our winter and holiday book collections. So part one was finding pages in books that are not specific to the holiday. Um, so like all purpose books or just pages that are hidden that we didn't even know about. <clears throat> and then part two was Christmas and winter pages or books, specific ones that I've collected over the years. And now part three is the ones I bought for this year, <laughs> uh, as in I bought this month. So I am going to go ahead and show these to you. Now these will also show up in my haul video, um, but I'm not gonna do any flip throughs. If you wanna see flip throughs, let me know and I can do that. This is just to give you an idea. And if you are interested in any of these, there is a link in the description below to my Amazon store. And I have a page dedicated to just Christmas books that I own. So they're all ones I own, um, purchased myself, that way you know. <clears throat> okay, this I bought because I was just curious. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this is a legit Creative Haven book. Um, there was like a few red flags, like the way it's printed up here looks weird. Uh, there's no author on anything so I bought it kind of out of curiosity and I mean it's not bad but none of the images jive and some of these look like Teresa Goodridge images so I don't know um if this is like a copycat book because see I swear that is like in a Teresa Goodridge book and it's Create Space paper. It's not even the Creative Haven paper. But also, see, it just opens straight to this and has like a test page. So I'm almost positive this is a Creative Haven knockoff. Um, so I actually won't have that in my store just because I don't like that type of thing. Um, and in fact, I'm probably going to return this because it is a, a brand knockoff. So, but one that isn't, uh, this is Jolly Winter by Demita Victoria. I got this because I like her images for um, markers. They're very, you know, open and easier for us marker noobs. I won't be using it in the book because it is Create Space Paper, so I'll probably scan it. But it's also a little gray-scaled. Not a lot, but... <clears throat> Like, that would be so fun to do with marker. So, yeah, I just thought it was cute to try. So, I got that one. And then um, I have Debbie McComer's Very Merry Christmas Coloring Book. Um, I have one of her other books, and they weren't too bad. So, I really wanted to try this one. And, I mean, her style is a little unique. And, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, who is this a cross between? But I mean, not every image in here I'm like thrilled to color, but some I am. Like this one I really wanna do. That one I'd love to do. But yeah, I mean, it was just cute and a great paper, by the way. This is not Create Space paper. It is thick paper, so you can use water on it. <clears throat> That's a cute one too. Um, so yeah, it's it's a good book. It's not cheaply made. All right, Gnome for the Holidays. I couldn't help myself because it was just so cute. <laughs> um, this is an Ava Brown. I also bought this for markers. I like the really big open line work because I'm so new to Copics that I tend to screw up things like, you know, little fine lines. So I thought this would be good for practice. And they're, they're cute little images. Okay, and then I got a genuine... Creative Haven one. See what I mean? How you can kind of tell the difference there. That's why this is totally a knockoff book that I'm going to be returning. Um, this is Winter Wonderland. Now this is a Teresa Goodridge one that I swore I owned, but it turned out I didn't. So I own it now. Now I officially have all of them. But yeah, this one isn't just Christmas. I mean, it's winter, so you can do this in January and February with all the snow scenes. It has the good paper. <laughs> So, like, I mean, tons of snow, though. I mean, it's literally a winter wonderland book, so 
If you want to learn to color snow, this is your opportunity. Okay, then I got Whimsical Winter Wonderland by Molly Harrison. I have her 100 compilation images, and I'm not sure if all of these are in there. I didn't remember seeing all of them, but I bought it to compare and see if all of them were in there. If they end up all being in there, then I'll just return this one since I already have them. But they're really cute. I might even just give it away to someone because it is adorable. All right. This is Coco Wyo's uh, Chippy Girls Christmas. So I've never bought one of her books. Um, they are Amazon Create Space paper. I like it has a black background. But again, I got this for marker work. Um, her stuff is a little bit more detailed in some spots. But I think it'll be a lot of fun. I love that these have a black background here and black backing. Saves me from having to do the background. <laughs> like that would be fun to do the hair. So yeah, that's why I ended up getting this one. And then, this is kind of a mixture. So it does have Christmas ones in it, um, but it also doesn't. But this is a Chippy Girls um, coloring book by April Amber, volume three. And it's on Create Space paper. But yeah, there's just some Christmas and winter ones mixed in. I mean, like this is the one with the candy cane and all that. Um, you know, the rainstorm, so yeah. It's kind of a mixed book. Same with my last one. So this is that new one from Daria Draws. Don't ask me to say her real name. But this is from Halloween to Christmas. And so this does have her Christmas images in the back. And, and apparently a bonus Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, so we've got all these Christmas ones. I do have PDFs of some of these already. Um, but not all of them. So the Christmas ones will be really fun. Like that one I def is so cute. Little elves. So yeah, I mean, I have that on PDF. I don't have that one. I don't have that one either. And then, yeah, we get into the Halloween ones. But I bought it. Um, I should have bought it for Halloween, but I was kind of like, ah, I don't know. And then I just decided, well, screw it, I'll buy it, and I'll have these images for next year for Halloween. But that's all I bought this year for winter and holiday books. Um, you know, I none of the books out there really interested me, I guess you could say, um, or I had already owned them. And I don't want to get a ton of winter and Christmas-themed books just because... I burn out easily. I get so busy. I never get a chance to color everything. So yeah, it's one of those things where you're just like, uh, but I mean, I still bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, so I bought eight books. It's still kind of ridiculous, but yeah, this is my winter and Christmas haul books. I'll be coloring in these. Let me know if you want to see any color longs or flip actual flip throughs. And then, like I said, this one, just be aware of this one on um, Amazon. I'm going to return it because it is a total knockoff and that's just so disappointing. But yeah, I mean, it had such a cute cover. So I was like, oh, this must be so adorable. And no, <laughs> roped in. I'm a sucker. But thanks guys for watching my three-part series. Feel free to go back and watch part one and two if you haven't seen them. And then of course all of these are linked in my Amazon store link below. So just click the one link and then all of them will show up in there. Saves you from having to click each link. But I hope you guys are excited to get into the holiday and winter pages. So not just Christmas, but like just winter in general. And um... I look forward to doing some color alongs with you guys and just having fun. So until next time, take care.